sometimes I feel like I'm feeling my own with my most people. I feel I feel like I'm living to the first time. That's what I feel. Weird. Some random guy come over just now. Check some things in the building apparently. New beatbox riotous version. New beatbox. One view. The lion. Take to house train mango out of interest. Thanks, Mr. Burden Native, for the 17 years. How long did it take the house train mango out of interest? Uh, he was pretty much house trained the day I got him. He was, um, was it seven weeks old? Maybe eight weeks old? Yeah, it's like the moment I got him, I just took him out like every two hours, and every time he peed outside, I just gave him a treat. And when he pooped outside, I gave him like big, big ass treat, and boom, house trained. Pretty much the first day I got them. Long, long Thanks, Mr. Roman support for the 22 years. Burn in of it 17, of course. Yo, I'm scared of this fucking beatbox video, man. When does it start? When does it start? I don't trust it. At three minutes. Long, long <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Weed Tone, for the fifty four years. If you go for corrective eye surgery, can I see two years into the future? Your doctor is saying you have 2020 vision. Yes, you can see two years in the future. 54 trillion years. Hi, Master Dong Ling. If I go for my corrective eye surgery, can I see two years into the future? Doctor is telling me I will have 20, 20 vision. It's never coming. The gachi bus is never coming. I, I think it's any second now. For quite a few hours. I don't know what this game is, but hmm, I'll check it out. I guess two K views. What's this game? Blade and Sorcery. Is this a VR game or something? I'll check it after this thing fucking ends, dude. Like I'm. Ah, fuck, I knew it! 
What the fuck? Ah, motherfucker. This fucking video, too. Just look at it. Like, what the fuck is this? Guy, right, fuck this. Let's look at this. What is this? Blade and Sorcery Alpha 5. Is it VR? I can't tell. I, I don't think so. It's just a random game, no? Is it VR? I guess it is? Oh, it is VR? Oh, that's pretty cool then. The AI looks a little bit like- oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the AI looks a little bit like Luster though. Oh, those sword noises are not nice to the ears. The woman just turned into a man. This is like expectation stuff? I don't know. Kind of looks like that other game, Gorn or whatever it's called. <laughs> he kicked them. What, you can kick in this game? Must be like, uh, must be the triggers on, on the controller. Cause I, I, unless there's like motion trackers for feet, which I don't think quite exists yet. Maybe they do exist, but not in, uh, not for average people. Thanks, Mr. Communist Magic. What is that two meter long jump? Tall jump. Oh, you can get motion trigger for feet? That's pretty cool. Did I see the game called Sekiro Series at Twice? I did see it. I saw the E3 one. Yeah, that Sekiro game looks amazing. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't- That hit is quite brutal, man. Like, what? But like, usually when you see a game like that, it, it's kind of clowny, right? Like, when you hit him on the head from the side. You get some clowny ragdoll effect, but this is just like this bitch just got smacked down to the ground. Dude, what? What the fuck? Yeah, I, I, I can see it definitely getting boring after a few minutes, but it was fun to just try it out though. I mean, it's been like the same thing for already like what? Three minutes? Three minutes and ten seconds. This is what Skyrim combat should be like. Like Gorn VR. Yeah, it's it's less clowny. Gorn is like everything feels like balloons. The weapons feel like balloons and the enemies should what the fuck? Flame fire? And and the enemies feel like balloons. What <laughs> that's upskirts. 
games. I wonder how they would ever work out in um. Hello, mate. Welcome to Baron Reviews with me, the Baron, and we're in. Alone. Ay, ay, ay. He's bald. He's actually bald. French man saves American couple from scammer in Paris. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Please sign. Thank you very much. Only sign? Yes. Okay. Why not? Thank you. Where are you from? We are from United States. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Absolutely. Did they just sell their soul or something? What is this? So what is the other woman? That one, right there. She's she's pickpocketing while the other one is like, Yeah, can you sign this? Hmm. Streamer tricks his dogs. They need it. Like I'm telling you, I showed What game is this? Every single day after stream, they know my closing. Is this World of Warcraft nowadays? How come it looks like fucking I almost promised you they would come in here. You guys want me to test it? I looks like fucking RuneScape. They know the closing words for my stream and they also know when it's time to play. Like I'm I'm telling you, they're they're fucking Looks like fucking RuneScape to me, man. RuneScape looks much worse. I know because I played that since 2001. People still play RuneScape now? I think I played that in like elementary school or something. What am I watching here? Just, just a bunch of cars going ham? RC cars. Oh, I didn't even realize they were so tiny. I just noticed the tree in the back. I was just looking at the cars. <laughs> what the fuck? normal and natural to it because it's definitely an extension of childhood because all of us when we were kids and all kids now for a certain period of time the worst storytellers ever okay you don't know shit about editing information enhancing things keeping people's interest so every look you don't have to have a kid to know about this talk to any kid a friend's kid <laughs> So we're going live, about to get... I don't even know who that is. Paul Flark, never heard of it before. Changing curtains. No, what you're seeing here is a different camera. Different camera can capture more light. And uh, we can also 
Yeah, for some reason the color changes when it captures more light in the camera. I don't know how that works. Basically, it's a way higher quality camera, so it just takes everything and it's highest quality and everything. Bill Burr thinks women are overrated. Your show, F is for Family, I relate to it because it's about parenting in the 70s, and that's, you know, that was when I was parented like you. What do you think of parents now? How do you compare them to parents in the 70s? Oh, it's just completely, the kids have so much power. It's like ridiculous. Like half of these kids, I'm like, I look what and I, I just have I'm what using happened an to EOS me. And I'm like looking at a kid and be like, this kid's about ready to get punted across the grocery store. And it just never happens. Right. They just, they just don't get hit. And I think it's hurting You're this mad. country. You're mad, wait a minute. <laughs> He's got this He's, you're mad that children are, are not being uh, this, hit. This should be the threat of it. Half of it, it was just the look. It was just your dad was acting like he was going to do it. He never did it, but your mother did. And because <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Anderson. No, because no, she was a With woman. It was like, okay. Because yeah. it was like, hey, you, know, you let a girl beat you up. You know, you kind of felt emasculated. Yeah. What the fuck? We had a rule that, like, I actually, a lot <laughs> of the stuff that I look at from when I was a kid that actually kind of made sense in a way is now would now be considered, like, abuse, I guess. Like, when I was a kid, if you didn't finish your supper, as we called it. Supper, yeah. Yeah, my mother was just like, well, you're going to finish. You're gonna, um, she would just wrap it in cellophane, and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast. <laughs> Like, like a blue collar job, like you take the shovel out of the <laughs> hole and just start digging it again. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember Thanks one night. Thanks, Mr. Common is magic for the five. Which is like one of the toughest pieces of meat. I don't know if you guys, everything's so like Asian infused, Wagyu beef, everybody's eating that crap right. now. But cube steak was like, they had literally had to hit it with a hammer to make it like edible. <laughs> and uh, so we were having cube steaks. And I forget, my little brother was still in a high chair and he couldn't finish his. So my mother goes, all right, well, you're just going to have to eat it for breakfast. And that was like eight hours away, which was like half his life. So he's like, all right, I'll just take that deal. <laughs> so the next morning, we, I remember we were having waffles. My mother always made Sunday breakfast. So we had all these waffles, eggs, bacon, this whole layout. My brother was looking at half-eaten cubed steaks and a little mound of green bean casserole. And he goes, so he looked at my mom. He goes, Mom, can, can I have a waffle? And she goes, no, you got to finish your supper. He's like, well... After I finish my waffle, uh, supper, then can I have a waffle? <laughs> she goes, no, that is your breakfast. And he goes, oh, mom, I hate you. And my dad, without looking up, took a full glass of milk and threw it in his <laughs> face. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what a fucking dick! <laughs> what the fuck? What an asshole, really! <laughs> oh shit! How to ruin a party with a carrot? I don't know what parties are like. <laughs> what? God, masturbating in the tent. Yeah, that's a skip for me, dog. Most unbelievable run out ever. It's six minutes of this. Yeah, that's a no for me, dog. Star Wars remake.
What's up, friends? It's just videos, man. Do honeybees really die when they sting? Oh my god, that voice put me to sleep almost. It's like this is one second of it. Breaking Bad Junior. Be advised, we have new players. Why is it Chinese subtitles? We don't know who they are or where they come from, but they possess an extremely high skill set. Now, me personally, I'm thinking Midwest Middle School just might have a new kingpin. Walt, you have diabetes. I only just sent you double digits. And it's almost Halloween. <laughs> Hi, Walt. Walt, what's the matter? Skyler, I have diabetes. You were going to sell your candy to help pay for the Math Masters trip? I can just go with... I thought you were gonna say Chad. Well, what bake are you less Thanks, than Mr. Dave TC. Good find, Hank. Make your deputy hall monitor in no time. You lost your partner today when his locker got raided. Emilio? Emilio is going to suspension. The principal took all your sugar, the lab. He got nothing. Square one. But you know the business. I know the chemistry. You, uh, you want to cook bubble gum? You, uh, you? Either that, or I turn you in. Cannot hear the video. It's pretty loud to me. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Communist Magic Joel, again. You got chunks in here. Two, three inches long. Oh my god, I can't watch this. Your gosh darn Bazooka Joe. Crystal meth? No, it's fucking bubblegum, dude. She looks like that one IT nerd from that one cop show. I forgot what it was called. Uh It had like this golf IT chick. NCIS. Was it, was it that one? Where the main character is that one old guy. What the fuck? That show was terrible, by the way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Just save a couple times, so. Is that the last one? Yeah. Dude, we're gonna need more paper towels. Yeah, I know. This is sticky everywhere. Thanks, Mr. Chris. I'll check it out. <laughs> I'll check it out in a moment, dude. What the fuck? We have a knife. No. Put it away. We don't need a knife. If I need a knife, I'll ask. Okay, sorry. Sven, do you want a sandwich? Yeah, sure. His name is Sven? <laughs> I guess I could. My 
god. No okay, Gant in a nutshell. Oh, I, I remember watching this. This is B-52. They should have had one guy trying to parry that. <laughs> Tips for killing Nergagante. They should they should have shown this to Korn. Man removes beehive in field with his bare hands? Fuck you mean you moving a beehive with your... Am I close enough? We have just get a good frame of everything and... Spray, 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 spray. spray them, but they all, all shrink up. Keep the ones on the outside calm down for a while. I just don't quite know how to go about this. I may try to take off some leaves and shake off in there and lay in there. Is it water? I have no idea, dude. Gotta shake off the rest of them later. Cause... Usually wear oh, those I suits, those hazmat-looking suits, but then for bees, like they're a little bit lighter. Shake it, I guess. Shake it, I guess. Let's shake the beehive. Let's see if I 
I'll shake the AI real quick. Sounds like a terrible, uh, like a, like a, like a bet you lost to a friend. Loser has to shake the beehive. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 just shake it like crazy, you got dude. Permission to take the corn out, right? Sure. Yeah, one of them. Holy shit. He knows what he's doing? Yeah, I fucking hope so. You ever think you'd be doing anything like this a year ago and you start to get care of bees? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm liking it. Ain't it a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get out of here so they won't be encouraged to go back to them. What did, what did he spray on them? I don't know. I, I guess it's just water or something. Imagine I got her in there with all these bees. They're here. They don't sting when they swarm? Cap shoes. <laughs> it's just to shake them off. Just shake them off real quick. Don't worry about it. Open here a little bit. Let's see if they'll, uh, if they'll climb up. Nope, there's the queen. The she's queen? She's a little darker queen. Than One the quarter? Like yours. That's me. I always feel better when I see her. She went back down in with the frame, so we'll just see him climbing up the edge of here. How does he carry those balls of steel? I don't think I've ever been stung before by a bee, but I can't imagine it being nice. That's a big guy. Holy shit. What? I've seen this video about eating. I, I think it's this guy at least. I watched it on stream, in fact. But yeah, I haven't seen this before. Does he buy like a? Does he buy like two seats for himself or what? I, I I can't see him fitting one seat. There's no way. Like even if he fits in the chair, doesn't his doesn't his hand just extend to the other other seat? How does he ever take a leak? Oh, he actually just sits to him the what? Does he have to? Does he have to lean to the side the entire time? Uh, as you can see, it was kind of a 
long day of travel for me, but it was good. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> what the fuck? Tao-san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? I don't have time to play your little games. Please, is there anything is you could tell me? Oh no, I see. Thank you very much. Why don't you tell him about the three blades? Oh no, three blades? Da -da -da. Oh, the three blades. The three blades. Thanks, Mr. Three In blades. Ina the Lick. The three blades. The three blades. Oh, three blades? The three blades. You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. The three blades. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Is it something to do with what- I don't have time to play your little games. Are there any other Chinese people around here? Tell him about- What the fuck am I watching? Mongolian throat singing? Kinda sounds like it, doesn't it? I I don't think it sounds that nice. It's just kind of whatever, no? Hmm. Mongolian pop. He's an artist. Yeah, me not know, dude. Me not know. and there's hardly any cheese in here. That's no good, is it? Here, give me your sandwich. I will fix it for you. We can't have people complaining that there's not enough cheese in the cheese sandwiches now, can we? <laughs> I mean, if there's no cheese in a cheese sandwich, it's basically just two slices of bread. If word of that were to get out, well, I could lose my job. I could lose all of this! And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Would we? Would we? Ah! Oh my. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Oh, you could stick it in your bum bum. You can put the cheese in your bum. What a waste of cheese. Loud. Yeah, this should be interesting. Rainbow Falls. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Video for practicing eye contact. But well, we don't need any of this. Anybody need some practicing for eye contact when you meet a girl? Anyone? Anyone at all? She's looking right at you, man. She's looking right at you. Is this just like the whole video? Oh my god, it is. Nope, useless video. Not gonna help anyone. 
One on bulls, one bad street art is a happy accident. I was at the front mowing the nature strip. I could see a bit of it. You're honestly on the looking other side away. Of the of people Bruh. looking and taking photos, and I thought, wow, there's something going on. So I went and had a squeeze, and then once I saw what I saw, I thought, yeah, this is gutsy. Yeah, Honestly, it, it looked like him. someone done damage to the I bridge. The, smile. the way it's got the hole in it. I, I had no idea who done it. I thought, well, someone around here has got talent. I probably should have got permission, but I thought I'll just go and have an experiment. It's only chalk. It's going to last a couple of days. If it rains, it'll come straight off. I did it on a Friday. I thought if it's not washed off by the Sunday, I can go down with some water and hose it off. And then it wasn't until I actually touched it and realised what it was done with. How do and I then I thought, well, it's going to rain and it'll be gone. So, yeah, needed save and can't go. So I'd been hired Thanks, Mr. Nava, now, but it, How do you unsubscribe? You can't. do a piece done in pastels and I needed to have a bit of a practice. So I snuck down to the bridge that's literally at the end of my driveway outside my house. It's just to see how the pastels would adhere to the concrete and how they'd last. It took about three hours and people hooting all the way past. So people were pulling up and talking to me and like, wow, I thought someone had knocked a hole in the bridge. What are you doing here? Instantly it was a lot of fun for the community because I, Originally, I, I was going to wash it off that night, but I loved it so much, I thought, I'm just going to leave it there. It's the weekend, let people drive past and see it, and then I'll wash it off on the Sunday. My wife warned me, don't interfere. Don't go near it. Did yeah. you uh, listen to your wife? No, <laughs> no. <Nah, nah. laughs> I put the high vis on and pretended I was, you know, someone important, and I knew exactly what to put on it to make it stay there. And done the old <laughs> three times. Oh, I had to let it dry in between. Why is he wearing yeah. that hat? <laughs> By the time Everywhere. The strip was mowed, it was permanent. So, yeah. So then Sunday came around, and I went down there with my bucket of water and my cloth. And as I walked up to it, I noticed it was shiny, and I thought, oh my God, it looks like it's had some chemical reaction. It was a really dewy morning that morning. I thought maybe the pastels absorbed some of the moisture from the air. So I go up and I rub it with my finger and it's not coming off, and I dip my cloth in, I'm starting to wipe, and it's just not moving. Yeah, yeah, he'd been, he'd been trying to wash it. <laughs> no, he'd been... Uh, <laughs> I started to panic him up. <laughs> Shampoo that makes animals. What the fuck? Pretty sure that was Gachi Boss or something. Is All this right. the chicken connoisseur? I'll be dead straight. It's, it's 2 a.m. Right 11 now. minutes? Oh my god. You don't understand. This is this is the first hour of him playing piano. From this point on onwards, his mom will never let him stop playing anymore. By the age of seven, he's gonna be Mozart. Previously on your life, you were born, you literally and figuratively sucked the will to live. Hmm. Taco Mitch Pharma? Mira, el taco árabe es parecido al giro, pero es una versión mexicana. Imagínate como si fuera un giro, pero en versión mexicana, da, da, da. con aderezos netamente Love mexicanos. Chile, chipotle, salsa, Thanks, todo. Mr. Donuts, for the three months. México. Mi nombre es Zacarías Galeana, soy copropietario de Tacos Bagdad junto con mi hermano André Galeana. Los tacos árabes nacen por una necesidad de, de sobrevivir. Mira, mi abuelo este emigró en 1923 en 4 de la frontera entre Turquía e Irak. 
the hell is this video? Thanks, Mr. Whitehorn, 24 for the 22 months. Let me check it out, dude. How terrible! Weebs out! Llegan a un país extraño y Thanks tratan de sobrevivir, tacos. tratan de trabajar en lo que sea para salir adelante, ven a otros migrantes poniendo un trompo. Entonces, Tacos Bagdad fue fundado en 1933. Y así wow. empezó a hacer taco los tacos que ahora now. se conocen como tacos árabes. Mira, el proceso para hacer los tacos árabes es marinar la carne lo pones en, un, en una base de metal donde empiezas a, a ponerlo circularmente. Luego encima pones cebolla y luego otra capa. Y así vas haciendo capa por capa hasta hacer el trompo. Holy shit, that looks good. De ahí tú la llevas al, al aparato de carne. I don't think I've ever seen a shawarma place that's like, hmm. That makes their own shawarma, like, there's no, they usually just buy in, like, pues the whole no thing. Es la misma carne. Mucha gente de Medio Oriente es musulmán, no puede comer puerco. Y aquí en México como un puerco, América Latina come puerco mucho. Pork shawarma, es el haram. Tortilla de maíz y posteriormente ocupan el pampita. Y luego la gente pues le pensó, oye, pero no tiene algo que pique una salsita. Pues sí, la, eh, se les ocurrió hacer una salsa de chipotle molida en molcajete y con eso acompañaron la ta los tacos árabes. Ahora la conocen como salsa para taco árabe. Todo eso lo hace diferente, lo hace fusión. La fusión. En Netherlands, es muy interesante yeah, como cuando la gente migra also. lleva sus costumbres y ideas um, y por años por trabajo, en otros países so so. lo vuelve like un platillo típico después de muchísimo tiempo. Este esfuerzo de casi 100 años no, no sería bueno, no sería bueno que terminara. Ya tiene una historia, Holy ya tiene shit, tradición, ya tiene mucho para atrás. Ahorita es cosa de darlo a conocer. Garlic sauce like tum, I don't know what tum is, but it's like a really thick garlic sauce. And you mix that with some some hot sauce and you put that on your shawarma and that's good stuff, man. How to defend yourself against a knife attack? I'm pretty sure he just runs away. Isn't like every watching one of those videos? How to fight against somebody with a knife and then the guy just runs away in like the first seconds. It's every single time. Tum is the Arabic word for garlic? No. <coughs> Dauntless, but they're supposed to hunt the world. Hmm. VR waifus and their incel suitors. Let's not watch that. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Gabe new Omega kills pack. Okay, Gabe, how are we feeling today? Good. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, so today we are doing the Gabe Newell Mega Kills Pack. Yeah, yeah there's only about 15 lines, so it's going to take what? 30 minutes? 30 minutes, 30 yeah. Minutes. Should be really easy. Okay, let's have some fun. 
Okay. Okay, great. Our first line is going to be First Blood, all right? Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Hello, I'm Gabe Newell. You've just achieved First Blood. Thanks and have fun. No message about needing to pay for the next line. You'd be like, please pay a few more dollars for the next DLC line for Second Blood. That was great. That was great. Seriously, great, Gabe. Um, can can you try it again with a little bit more energy, uh, like a, like a first blood, a first blood, first blood. You know, uh, <laughs> let's try double kill with bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 